Nicole Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. Again. Come on. Come on. All right, so I decided to bring my friend, like I told you earlier on. We've been roaming around that table, showing you all the beautiful drone shots of a Sebu community. Now, let me ask you this as a first timer coming to a Sebu, I know I've taken you around, I'm even tired, I'm sweating all over, I have to go home and shower. But what do you make of a Sebu so far? I mean, hearing the story you of know, Asiba it's, a, yeah, yeah. it's a very historic town. Mm -hmm. And um, when you said we we visit this place, I had a lot of expectations. Okay. I was thinking of a, a very huge, like an actual huge, you know when they say Mankesi? Okay, Mankesi is big. big. It's big. Yeah. Or something like Accra. Uh -huh. And I think that expectation um, is actually driven by the name of the community and the yeah. history behind, behind the name of the yeah. community. Yeah. So when you hear the name Asebu Amelfi, you're looking like a giant who came to conquer a lot of land. Yeah, a lot of land. So, okay. so in my mind, I was looking at a huge community, like mm -hmm. a very big community. Yeah. Yes. But showing up here today, I think the people are nice, mm -hmm. friendly, and all that. Yeah. Even though we've not showed a lot of people on camera, we have yeah, interacting with, with people. people. But what we've done behind the scene is really amazing. Like a, a calm community, mm -hmm. yeah, where people are friendly and all that. Yeah, I hope, I hope, I hope, I just hope that our three days here would be, um, be a perfect one because, like you said, due to the fact that there's a story behind that table and then with your, uh, perception of how you wanted to see things, there's the same way others who are not in Ghana mm. or who are even in Ghana but have not visited Asebu also think that, okay, Asebu is supposed to be like the biggest town like Cape Coast where you have hospitals, where you have all these things. Yeah, yes, exactly. yes, you see? Uh, the, the nearest clinic that I know is in Abrodunko. You know Abrodunko? I've heard the name, but I've not been there. You have to be traveling. He's been in Takwari all your life. In Western so, region. Western. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically we're showing you how a Seibu looks like. In the evening, we we'll we'll do, hey, we have to do Friday night. Friday night. Yeah, night life in a Seibu. Friday night in a I actually want to know what happens here during Friday night. During Friday I, night, do, uh, do they have calm social gatherings like okay? You know, let's people. go around and ask, ask, ask someone. Um, <laughs> let's see if we can find someone in our let, I want to, let's talk to this one, Who? the lady over there. Okay, because ladies they have more information as from are coming. Yeah, you. Yeah, this is this is my first time I am bringing my friend here. Okay, and then we want to really have fun on Friday night. But I hear, like, we don't know what happens on Friday night in a city. Do you think it is fun? Do you think it is boring? Do you have a lot of guys, girls hanging around, chilling? Do you have stuff like that happening here in a city on Friday night? Okay, on Friday night, no. it's not actually fun though. Okay. But most of the time is when uh, there is an location. Okay. Or maybe similar stuff around here. Okay. The street at times it's a bit um, hyper. Hyper. Yeah. Oh, okay. So um, he's saying that usually on Fridays, a table is calm. But if there's any event like a funeral or any other event, that is where. Yes. But this time, we are going to make it hot ourselves. That is why we are here with all these guys, with the cameraman, Prince and Richard and everybody. We are going to turn up a table this Friday. Amazing. Thank you very much. Yeah. But, okay. but again, which part of a table? Do, do you have any, like, a, a pub or a restaurant that people usually go? We have one here. I usually call it Abosanasi. Abosanasi. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the other one, the palace. The palace. Yeah. And we have a new restaurant here. Wow. The, the Jamaican restaurant. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh, okay. So uh, I know the owner of that restaurant. Okay. We'll be visiting her. Okay. She's from Jamaica. So shout out to Moy. You've opened up a beautiful restaurant here in Asibu. The people are aware that you are the number three when it comes to uh, places that one can chill here in Asibu. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, yeah? Thank you. All right. Thank you, bro. Okay, so it means that we are not going to have a dull moment in our table, man. It's really going to be fun. Let's go. Let me show you more. Connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. Yes. 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 Yes.